Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some little things that I have picked up from Lush recently. Most of them are from the um, Christmas range and I'm just so excited. <laughs> As you may have seen in our Christmas shopping vlog, I went into next specifically for the Christmas range. I wanted to find some Christmassy things, and instead, I found a basket for for my my Lush products because I thought, oh wait, I've got all these bags of Lush products, but I have nowhere to store them. So I went and got myself a wicker basket. I love the fact that it has a cover and the fact that it's tied on. It's even like sewn on I think so it won't detach itself. That was £6 from Next. I thought that was pretty good for the price. You could get one about this size, maybe a little bit smaller for about £4 in Wilco's. But it was a bit too small I thought and it was a different design. It wasn't a wicker basket which is what I wanted. This new packaging says that um, they're all fighting animal testing so they're not tested on animals which is what I really love about um, Lush and this one is called a French kiss it's lavender I think and it's a bubble bar here we go guys uh, off. this is the dangerous part because I don't want to break them here it is ta-da it's so pretty um, Oh, and it's crumbling already. I just want to mention, because I wouldn't be doing this video without her, but um, last Christmas, um, Courtney, my friend, bought me a bath bomb from Lush, and I've never like got onto the hype of Lush products. Like I never went in and was like, oh yay, let's go buy some soap or bath bombs just to spice up my bath. But she got me the bath bomb for Christmas last year, and I have been hooked ever since. This is the Lavender French Kiss. As it says on the packaging, it has some rosemary, rosemary in it. Can't say that. I love the fact that they hand make their products. This one in particular has kind of like a marble effect running through it. It definitely smells gorgeous uh, and it definitely smells of lavender. But I love it. It always reminds me of like soothing and calming my senses and getting rid of my headache. Like it goes straight to the brain and it just relieves me from any pain. My next bag just fell over. What I'm going to do is pack them in my basket. That's what my basket's for and I might as well do that as I'm taking them out of the bag and showing you guys. French kiss. You're going in the basket. So, oh, it's locked. I did have two of these, but I used one yesterday because I couldn't hold off any longer. I was like, I need to use my Lush products. I really want to use one. This is called Razzle Dazzle and it's a bath oil. This one is can get quite messy if you hold it for too long. It smells divine. Like, it's really hard to explain what this smells like. It smells like blue raspberry bonbons. I don't know. These are new. They came in the same time as the Christmas range has come in. It's covered in glitter and oh, it's just gorgeous. Like it smells divine. Oh my gosh, I know what this is. I absolutely love the smell of this. This is called Bright Side. Oh my gosh, guys. Like it looks like the sunset. It's that orange and it's that gorgeous. Like oh, it's so it looks amazing. It smells like refreshers slash Fanta slash Starbursts. It's divine. I, I, I just couldn't stop sniffing it when I was in the store. I was like, I need to get this. Like, I really need to get this. It's, oh, it's so nice and I cannot wait to use this. It's just... It's so heavenly. If you go into Lush and you want anything at all, that will just make yourself a lot happier. <laughs> I would go for Bright Side. I mean, it's in the name, so why the hell not? So the next one, it's called Magic Wand and it's a reusable. Let's see if I can get this, oh, I can smell it already. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's stunning. There were so many and I, I like to be picky and just choose the best. I love how they've added the be these bells, it's just, so cute and in particular bells always remind me of Christmas and it always reminds me of the Polar Express. My dad used to read that to us when we, were, when we were little every Christmas Eve and then when it came out to be a film I was like no way <laughs> like no freaking way is that a film like this book has been my childhood. <sighs> oh, 
It smells like sweet bubble gum slash kind of like candy floss. Definitely candy floss. But it's just so pretty. Like, I wouldn't want to use this, but I will because it smells divine. Ooh, ooh. This is my Christmas scent because I got this for Christmas from Courtney. This is the one I was talking about. This is the one she bought me. And I was so, like, excited about it because it's the first time I ever tried Lush. And I was like, yes, I finally get to try Lush and see what the hype's about. And this is what got me started into loving Lush, this particular product. And this is a bath bomb, and it is freaking amazing. But this is the Twilight bath bomb, and it's just beautiful. Like, it's... Oh, I cannot describe it. So it's very... I'm gonna try and describe it so it's very sweet it's kind of it smells kind of like a classic smell when you have a bath so it's not anything like out of the ordinary or different um, but it's kind of like really soothing it's definitely that evening bath that's why I think it's called Twilight because of the stars and the moon and the when it especially when it's raining this is a perfect bath bomb for when it's raining outside because it makes you feel it like, really fresh and calming and it's nighttime and cozy there we go and it just smells divine like i cannot emphasize this enough so courtney seriously thank you for getting me this because i know this is your favorite as well i think it is heavenly it is oh it's just gorgeous and i love it i cannot wait to use this i'm so glad i, I wasn't going to get one but i was like oh, i cannot not get one because it's tradition now i have to get twilight every christmas Okay, so this one is called Cinders. This is a bath bomb, and this is the first thing I picked up when I went into Lush because it's cinnamon. I think this bath bomb in particular is going to be one that I am going to be using every Christmas because when it's winter and when it's December and when it's Christmas time, I love to um, just get all my cinnamon fragrances out and scents. Like, um, the candle I'm burning behind me is the um, cinnamon stick and, not cinnamon stick, sparkling cinnamon, that's the one. Sparkling cinnamon and oh, it's just addictive. Like, anything cinnamon, I'm there. It's got a kind of like sugary scent to it as well, like very sweet scent to it. And it's got popping candy in it. I mean, cinnamon and popping candy. These cinders cost £2.65 and that is pretty much a bargain for a spectacular bath and cinnamon fragranced. I'm excited. I, I'm really excited to use this. <laughs> I was over the moon about this one. Like I saw it sitting in the shop and I was like, no way. No freaking way. How cute is that guys? It's a bear. They made a bath bomb as a bear. Now I'm not even kidding when I say this, but the best part about this bear is it smells like the butter beer you get at the Harry Potter studios in London. Like I'm not even kidding. I smelt this and I was just like, no way, no way is this butter beer. Like no way, <laughs> it smells like butter beer. And the best part about this, once I smelt it, I saw the name and the name's called Butter Bear. It's a butter bear. Like, did they do this on purpose? Like, did, did they do this coincidentally? Like, did they, I don't know, because that's really creative. Butter bear and the fact that it smells like butter beer. You know when you want to satisfy that craving of having a butter beer? Well, you know when you've been to Harry Potter Studios and you're really craving another butter beer? If you like butter beer, of course, because some people don't, I've heard they don't. But, and you're craving that scent or, you know, just thirsty for that kind of scent, this is the thing to get. Like, I'm not even kidding. It smells exactly like butter beer. <sighs> like, I'm not, oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Seriously, if you love Harry Potter and you love butter, butter beer, go down to your local Lush store and smell this baby. <sighs> I just want to melt you and make you into a drink because I really want some butter beer now. Any average normal person that walks into Lush, you'll be like, oh, all I can smell is soap and bath bombs. But I just distinctly could s smell this fragrance and I was just like, what the heck is that smell? I need that, for it. like, I need it. Whatever that is that's giving me that really nice vibe, I want it now. And 
This one is called Dragon's Egg. It is insanely, it smells like a sweet shop. And I really love sweet stuff, so what can I say? Now, I'm not sure how Dragon's Eggs is supposed to smell, but if it smelled like this, I'd be hugging it every day and waiting for it to hatch. No, I wouldn't. <sighs> Seriously, I'm trying to think what it smells like. Sherbet. That's what it smells like. If you're going to get another bath bomb, get the dragon's egg because, like, seriously, I want to lick my fingers. It smells divine. Santa's belly! So as you can tell, it's from the Christmas range. I like a few of those items are, like the, the magic wands are. <sighs> it smells beautiful and I've got it all on my fingers now. But yeah, running through this, I'm not sure if you're going to even be able to see this, but there's some stars and some flowers. It's all pretty. I want to take it out, but it's going to go everywhere because I think it's a bit more runny than it was when I bought it. So basically, it's just a jelly. Like, can you see that wobble? Wibble wobble. It's a jelly, and that's going to pour out. <laughs> it's a jelly, and running through it is basically sequin, not sequins, kind of like big chunks of glitter, and it smells of apples, fresh, sweet apples and this one was made by Nev so thanks Nev thanks for making my Santa's belly yeah thanks for making that this one which is called five gold rings I've got to read this out because it says forget a partridge in a pear tree crumble these five sparkling rings under running water for baths packed with ah with it's a w some of the printing is a little dodgy on that one so this is very similar to the razzle dazzles but they're on a string and there's five of them there we go guys look at that five gold rings you'd just be like if this was an actual like if this was an actual like kind of like christmas bauble rather than bath bombs or bath bars should I say you would love to hang this on your tree like I would love to hang this on my tree or just somewhere but they're just so 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 pretty they are stunning like the glitter on these is insane it's freaking insane five gold rings pretty it's cute I don't know I like the string idea keeps them all together and then you when you want to pop one in the bath you can just untie it and pop it in the bath and there's five of them so five baths okay there's two more items left and I think these are kind of like my favorites oh, I know one of these is like my definite favorite um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this little cutie it looks so cute it looks like a cracker or one of those you know big chunky sweets I'm just twisting this back up because it's coming down slightly but this one's called the magic of Christmas and it is a fun bath bar of the variety of colors you get a white a gold a red and a blue now blue I don't really find Christmassy that's just my opinion I think I've already said this my mom doesn't find it either but I like it in there so basically you just make it into anything you want this is made by Martin so thank you Martin for my lovely fun packaged bar soap and shampoo this was like one of the things after cinders this is the second thing i picked up i was like i am not leaving this store until i have this oh my gosh <laughs> the bells moved down it was further up than that it's like whoop, let's turn you around there we go guys i'm sorry but look at it i look like a little christmas fairy it's so pretty it's so gorgeous if you're wondering what it smells of it's cinnamon guys like oh it's on a cinnamon stick it has a red cute little ribbon with a bell on it another bell it's a different design to the other one again reusable just like the other one i think the difference the downside in this is that this one is on a very thin stick and it like it's really wobbly to hold so i'm scared it will break um, but this one's very, it's on a very sturdy cinnamon stick and my hands are smelling of cinnamon. <sighs> oh my gosh, if they make cinnamon 
hand cream, can someone let me know? Because I would literally die. I would, honestly, I'd be done. Like, that would be my life. Cinnamon hand cream would be amazing. Imagine these two scents in the bath together. Oh, that's a winner. So I think my favourites has to be this one. And Cinders and the but no, this one and Butter Bear. This one and the Butter Bear is my all time favourite. Then I think this one will come next. Seriously guys, that Butter Bear is insane. <laughs> I could go on for days about that Butter Bear. Like, it's crazy how much it smells like Butter Bear. Cannot wait to put all these bath bombs in my bath. Not at the same time. Though that would be interesting. But if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Next in my bag. Next in my lucky bag. No, I don't want to rip it. I want to peel it. There we go. <gasps> my hands are so... Look at my hands, guys. They're so glittery. It's insane. Oh my god, love you, sir. Ooh, maybe not do that.